Hello, my name is Ian Schaefer, Senior Product Specialist here at Shimatsu Scientific Instruments. In this video, we will demonstrate the procedure to reteach a two-position Falco microelectric rotary valve. To begin the process, you must actuate the valve from the GC keypad. On a Shimatsu GC2014, press Function. Then select Direct Operation and press Enter. Enter the event number that corresponds to the valve. Here, we use Event 91. Press Enter, then press Execute. To begin the process on a Shimadzu GC2030, go to the home screen, press Function, then press Direct Operation. Enter the event number for the valve, then press Run. To teach the valve, it must start in the negative or load position. When the valve is in the negative or load position, the indicator light on the control box will be in the A position. Disconnect the digital input-output cable between the actuator and the control module. Place the valve into the on or inject position. In this case, we enter event 91 on the keypad. The indicator light will go out. Reconnect the line between the valve actuator and the control module. Toggle the valve slowly between the load and the inject position. The actuation will start slowly, and the indicator lights on the control module will not come on. After several rotations, the actuation speed will increase, and the sounds will become sharp. The indicator lights will illuminate on the control module, alternating between the inject and load position. The valve can also be controlled by the manual controller. This ships with every Shimazu System GC. To use the manual controller, disconnect the control module from the GC input and connect the manual controller. Place the valve in the load position by pressing A on the manual controller. Disconnect the digital input-output cable between the actuator and the control module. Using the manual controller, place the control module into the inject or load position. The indicator light will go out. Then reconnect the digital input-output cable between the actuator and the control module. Using the manual controller, slowly toggle the valve between A for the negative or load position and B for the positive or inject position. The actuation will start slowly and the indicator lights on the control module will not come on. After several rotations, the actuation speed will increase and the sounds will become sharp. The indicator lights will illuminate on the control module, alternating between the inject and load position. Once the valve is taut, the manual controller can be disconnected from the control module, and the cable enabling the GC control can be reconnected. For information on Shimadzu System GCs, visit us at www.ssi.shimadzu.com. Excellence in Science, Shimazu.